Norodom Sihanouk His Majesty Pray About Sambek Pray Norodom Sihanouk, His Majesty King Norodom Sahamani, President of the Great Bar Association of the Kingdom of Cambodia, October 31, 1922 October 15, 2012 Chinese, Sihanouk King of Cambodia, from 1941 to 1955 and again from 1993 to 2004. He was born on Tuesday, October 11, 1965, on October 31, 1922, in Phnom Penh, Kingdom of Cambodia. He died on Monday, October 15, 2012, with a coronarial shaft at 1.20 p.m. local time in Beijing, China. Honorable title to Cambodian independence monk after he abdicated to His Majesty King Norodom Sahamani, King of Cambodia has the title of His Majesty Pray about Samdek Pray and Orodom Sihanouk the Emperor, the Emperor, the Independence, the Sovereignty, and the Unity of the Khmer Nation. He was the influential Cambodian ruler from 1953 to 1970. After his second abdication in 2004, he was known as the High Priest, in which he had received many responsibilities as his former monarch constitution. King Norodom Suramari and Queen Sisolith Kasamak Sihanouk has held many positions since 1941, with the Guinness World Records indicating that he was a politician who served in the process of changing positions. The world's largest politicians, too, include two terms, a king, two positions, a prince, as two presidents, prime ministers, as well as several positions as leaders of government, exiles. He served as the puppet head of the Khmer Rouge government in 1975-1976. Two, most of these positions are only honored, including the last position as a constitutional monarch. The period of Sihanouk's de facto rule over Cambodia was from 9 November 1953, when Cambodia gained independence from France until 18 March 1970, when General Lan Noel and the National Assembly deposed he continued the biography when his maternal grandparent, Sisawith Manavong, died on April 23, 1941. The Throne Council chose Prince Sihanouk as the King of Cambodia. At that time, the Khmer Kampuchea colony was part of French Indochina controlled by the aligned Vichy government. His coronation was celebrated on May 3, 1941. 3. In March 1941, the Empire of Japan occupied Cambodia, but allowed the French colonial administration to exist, dissolving the colonial administration and occupying French Indochina. Under pressure from the Japanese, Sihanouk declared Cambodia's independence. Unlike the Emperor of Vietnam, Sihanouk was cautiously disagreeing with his cooperation with Japan. The Japanese forced Sun Nok Tan to be foreign minister, who later became the Prime Minister of Cambodia in August. Four after Japanese surrender, the French gradually recaptured the occupation of French Indochina. He was also the most effective lawmaker in Cambodia from 1953 to 1970. After his abdication in 2004, the National Assembly of Cambodia agreed to give the official title His Majesty King Norodom Sihanouk, King of Cambodia, King Father, Independence, Land Confederation and Unity of Cambodia with the special privilege as well as the royalty of his power as he reigned. Study from 1930 to 1940. He attended King Prairie Primary School in Praia Sisolith High School, Phnom Penh, Phnom Penh. He then studied at the Lycée Chasalu Lao Bot High School in Pre Nokar, South Vietnam. In 1946 and 1948, he pursued a high school course at the Armored Cavalry and Armored Police Academy in Siamar, France. The King of the Kingdom of Cambodia first reign in April 1941. The Royal Council elected and promoted King as King of the Kingdom of Cambodia in Phnom Penh. He ascended to the throne on October 28, 1941. After Cambodia gained independence from France, he abdicated to Godfather on March 2, 1955. The chaos is the leader after World War II and in the early 1950s, Sihanouk's aspirations became more nationalistic. 
and he demanded independence from the French colonists and wanted their complete departure from Indochina. This stirred the romantic emotions of the young nation of French Indochina. The state of Vietnam, the Democratic Republic of Vietnam and the Kingdom of Laos. He went abroad to Thailand in May 1953 because of the threat posed to his life by the French and came back when the independence was successful on November 9, 1953. As independent, Cambodia gained an alliance with the French Union until the end of the First Indochina War and the subsequent official French Indochinese conquest. On March 2, 1955, Sihanouk abdicated to his father, establishing the Senkum and assuming the post of Prime Minister a few months after the overwhelming success of the parliamentary election in September 1955. August 31, 1959, Dang Duc, younger brother and senior advisor to President of South Vietnam, Duong had failed an attempt to kill Si Anuk. He ordered his agents to dispatch a package of bombs to the Cambodian leadership in retaliation for the failure of Phung Ur and Dap Chuan, who was also a participant. New contradicted Sihanouk's foreign policy and hoped that Sihanouk would step down, and he could lift Sun Nok Tan in Phnom Penh. Five, two suitcases were sent to the royal palace one Sihanouk sent to the head of state and the other to Prince Wikawin, the head of his organization. The postal code was labeled by an American engineer who had previously worked in Cambodia and claimed some gifts from Hong Kong. Sihanouk's package had a bomb, but no other was, however, Mr. Vaginary opened both on behalf of the king and was immediately killed as a servant. The explosion came close to a palace in the royal palace where Sihanouk's parents were present. 6-7 Following his father's death in 1960, Sihanouk won the general election as the head of state, but received a title as opposed to being a king. In 1963, he transformed the constitution that made him the head of state for life. While he was not the official king, he created his own constitutional position, which in fact corresponded to the position of the former king. When the Vietnam War raged, Sihanouk published the policy that he claimed to maintain the highest priority for neutrality and security for Cambodia, while in many cases stood by his neighbors. The pressure on his government from all parties to the growing conflict and his overwhelming concern was to hinder Cambodia from moving into it in wider war zones. In doing so, he made a difficult selection of alliances to find the least dangerous path in a political situation where true neutrality would not have been possible at that time. In the spring of 1965, he made covenants with the People's Republic of China and North Vietnam permitting the permanent presence of North Vietnamese bases in eastern Cambodia and allowing for military supply from China to Vietnam. During the port period, every Cambodian and Cambodian were replaced by the purchase of Cambodian rice by China at a high price. At the same time, he made many speeches reminiscent of the inevitable victory of communism in Southeast Asia and the introduction of Maoist ideas that were priceless in the race. In 1966 and 1967, Sihanouk allowed a wave of political repression, which had been repeatedly done on the left, out of extreme political tensions. His friendly policy has sunk with China, due to China's extreme mindset to the orgasm of the Cultural Revolution. The combination of political repression and problems with China has made his balance impossible to endure. He delegated to the left who allowed the North Vietnamese to establish a military base inside Cambodia and to place all the bets on the Chinese wool. On March 11, 1967, a revolt in Batambang province led to a civil war in Cambodia, dropping deportation in return on March 18, 1970, while Sihanouk was traveling abroad. Prime Minister Lon Nol convened the National Assembly to elect him to ousted Sihanouk from the position of head of state and gave Lon Nol power to temporarily. Prince Sisawith Surak Matak, a brother of Sihanouk, who was overlooked by the French government in 1941, was granted the status of Deputy Prime Minister. 
the new Khmer Republic was immediately redetermined by the United States. After being deposed, Sihanouk flew to Beijing and established the Front Union National Capuchia Funk and began to support the Khmer Rouge in their struggle to overthrow the Law Nol government in Phnom Penh. He joined the new Royal Government of Capuchia, Royal Government of National Union, which included Khmer Rouge leaders. After Sihanouk expressed his support for the Khmer Rouge by visiting them on the battlefield, their ranks bolted up from 6,000 to 50,000 fighters. Many of the Khmer Rouge's new recruits are the peasants who have fought in favor of the king, not for communism, in which they know very little. Sihanouk later said, 1979, that the monarchy would be abolished, he would only fight for the independence of his country, though his country had become a communist, eight during the La Nol regime. Sihanouk lived most of the rest of the DPRK, with 60 palace-like palaces, even though a cinema was built. We have to. He then returned to the Pyongyang Palace after the Vietnamese invasion in 1979. The confinement of the Khmer Rouge When the Khmer Republic fell to the Khmer Rouge in April 1975, Sihanouk became the symbolic head of the new regime, while Pol Pot still held power. Sihanouk's intention was to become a patriarch of the retirement country, and maybe people had a public relations for his country and had some private parties and made some films. 10. Took a few years to become a captive of the Khmer Rouge. The following year, April 4, 1976, the Khmer Rouge forced Sihanouk out of office again and retired from politics. During the Vietnamese invasion, he was sent to New York to speak against Vietnam before the United Nations. After his speech, he sought refuge in China and North Korea. The Vietnamese invasion of Cambodia in December 1978 drove out the Khmer Rouge. While welcoming the eviction of the Khmer Rouge government, he remained firmly opposed to the Vietnamese-installed Hang Samran government of the People's Republic of Kampuchea. From then on, Sihanouk demanded a Cambodian seat in the PRK, which was vacated. Since neither the Pol Pot regime nor Hang Samran was able to represent the Cambodian people, 11. Despite careful caution for the Khmer Rouge and demanding that Khmer Rouge representatives still occupied Cambodia's UN seat to give up its right to occupy 12. And Sihanouk again joined forces with them to provide the United Front for unification. Some Vietnamese people believed that because of the U.S. pressure to work with the Khmer Krom. 13. In 1982. He fully opposed the Vietnamese-backed government and became president of the Coalition Government of Democratic Kampuchea KPRC, including the Kampuchean People's Army ANS. The son of Shan National Liberation Front KPNLF, and the Khmer Rouge. The Vietnamese withdrew in 1989, leaving behind a pro-Vietnamese government under former Khmer Rouge cadre Hun Sen to occupy the People's Republic of Kampuchea PRK. United States assistance in the late 1980s. Sihanouk's opposing forces absorbed limited military and financial support from the United States, seeking to help his movement as part of Reagan to counteract Soviet and Vietnamese involvement in Cambodia. One of the key architects of Reagan's legendary Legend of Legacy Fund, who visited Sihanouk's forces in Cambodia in 1987 and returned to Washington urging U.S. expansion for the resistance force of the KPNL. And Sihanouk is the third choice for both the Cambodian government installed and supported by the Vietnamese and the Khmer Rouge, who are also struggling with the government. Second Royal Ascent Peace Talks between the CGFs and the PRK has started shortly since then and went on until 1991, when all parties agreed on a reconciliation they signed in Paris. Prince Sihanouk returned to Cambodia again on November 14, 1991, after 13 years in exile, accompanied by a team of four bodyguards of the DPRK. 15, he ascended to the throne for the second time on September 24, 1993, and abdicated on October 7, 2004.
After his abdication, he was given the name of King Sihanouk. During his recovery, he suffered from poor health and traveled to Beijing for repeated medical treatment. His own life Sihanouk was interested in music, composed and performed often in Khmer, French and English. He played clarinet, sakura, sonan, piano, and curly. From the very beginning, he was passionate about film, as well as for theater, drama and dance. He has become a great filmmaker who writes, directs, and plays in many of the fictional festivals most often combined with stories based on documentary life and historical events in Cambodia. Citation needed, his 1966 film. La Ford Enchante in Khmer, Prey Prang, was inserted into the 5th Moscow International Film Festival in 1967. The Royal Ballet in 1947. King Norodom Sihanouk had a great success in demanding the return of the Kingdom of Cambodia to Cambodia. The Thai province of Cambodia during the Second World War took from Cambodia to Batambang. Sim Reap, Kampong Tom, Stung Treng. In 1949, he demanded that France stop the Treaty of 1863 and 1884. In 1949, he signed the Treaty of Independence, which France legally agreed to the independence of the Kingdom of Cambodia. The Treaty of 1949 cancelled the Treaty of 1863 and 1884. From 1952 to 1953, he completed a royal decree demanding 100% of the independence of the nation. On November 9, 1953, with his great accomplishment, Cambodia was fully independent of the French Republic. The people of Cambodia throughout the country give honor to him as national hero, national father of independence. On June 15, 1952, King Norodom Sihanouk expressed his affirmation that he would seek his independence for three consecutive years. At the same time, with his supporters, he traveled to France in February 1953. There he sent the message to Vincent Orly, the President of the French Republic three times the first time on March 5, 1953, from the city of Napoleon II March 18, 1953 from the city of Napoleon III, April 3, 1953, from Fort Nebo. Since the French government ignored the proposal, he decided to make an independent campaign for independence in Canada and the United States. In Canada in Montreal, he spoke to reporters highlighting two issues related to the Kingdom of Cambodia and France, a representative of Liberal Liberal Indochina, the first is the fight against the Communists, secondly, there is an abundance of independence for the Kingdom of Cambodia. On this issue, he insists that Khmer people do not need communist regimes because each Khmer citizen owns land for his own cultivation. The problem is that it is independent of the nation. Communists see Cambodia as a better place for them. In the United States, he made a statement, which was published by newspapers New York Times on its first page, April 19, 1953 which shocked the whole world. The content was, if France did not agree to give independence to Cambodia then there would be a real danger that Khmer people would stand up against France and they would turn to the communist-led Viet Minh movement. In the case of threats, people are determined that all the French in the country will be besieged and their last life will arrive. The above wisdom has made universal opinion, especially in the West which requires the French government to participate in negotiations with the royal government of Cambodia on the abiding independence of the Kingdom of Cambodia. Coup on 18 March 1970. He was deployed to Lan Nol to oust him from office while visiting the foreign corps, establishing a new government, the Khmer Republic. The new government has been recognized by the United States. Self-exile and abdication Sihanouk went into self-imposed exile in January 2004, residing in Pyongyang, DPRK, 18, and later in Beijing, the People's Republic of China. According to his health, death King Norodom Sahamani King Norodom Sahamani celebrated on Monday, October 15, 2012 with the 15th day of the month of Ramadan at 1.20 p.m., Phnom Penh.
in Beijing, China by aggressive. His body was marched from Beijing to Phnom Penh by King Sahamani and Samdek Teko Hun Sen on October 17 at 2.30 p.m. The royal cremation from Phnom Penh International Airport to the Royal Palace through the Independence Monument ended at 5.30 p.m. With a population of more than 1 million to over 1,200,000 people come for the procession, with both the chaplain and the launderer. His body will be placed at the royal palace for at least three months. After three months, on February 1, 2013, His Majesty Preah Bat Samdek Preah Norodom Sihanouk is celebrating the procession from the Royal Palace to the Grail Field to organize the Royal Cremation Ceremony. Returning home the procession of the body Sihanouk has been receiving medical treatment in Beijing since January 2012 for a number of health problems including bowel cancer, monotheism, and hypertension. 21. He died after a heart attack Beijing, on October 15, 2012, 16 days before his 90th birthday. Halfway through, King Norodom Sahamani and Prime Minister Hun Sen went to Beijing to bring home Sihanouk's body for a funeral at God's house. The Royal Palace. 23. Prince Sisawith Tomiko who used to be assistant and divinely ordained of Sihanouk, said that his death was a great loss to Cambodia, adding that Sihanouk had dedicated his life to the national interests of both nations and for his people. 21. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon also gave a lecture acknowledging Sihanouk's long sacrifice for his country and legend. He was a national unity leader worshipped by Cambodians and was they were internationally respected. 21. After Sihanouk's death, the national television of Kampuchea repeatedly screened a 30-minute documentary about the biography of God. 23. 100,000 Cambodians were thought to have lined the streets from the airport to the royal palace for the return of Sihanouk's body, but state television broadcaster TVK later said, Approximately 1,200,000 people were present. 21. 29. On 28 November 2012, King Father Norodom Sihanouk was officially formally proclaimed by King Sihanouk. Decree of His Majesty King Norodom Sahamani with the title of King Norodom Sihanouk Cremation. On February 1, 2013, crowds gathered on Phnom Penh streets to bid farewell to Sihanouk last as his body was transported throughout the city. The corpse was brought to the royal palace, which was cremated on February 5, 2013. Sihanouk's remains were sunk into the Mekong River.